Welcome to Feeding Time Healthy Eats. I just got done doing a massive workout. I'm wearing my beast shirt again. This is my favorite shirt. I wear it once a week. I think there's a food video once a week with me with it on. And uh, feeling fucking jacked. Getting strong. And uh, I found out that Chipotle has on their burritos, they have sofritas which is a form of tofu. So I just did chest today, so hopefully this goes right to the tits. I got my cotton candy, finish at BCAs. And I'm digging in guys, this is post workout, I gotta run some errands, I'm running all around. Fresh shave today, trimmed it up, the eyes are popping. What is this big old thing? That's what she said. Big old onion. Hanging out outside the burrito. This looks like it's a mouth. They, um, this is actually really bad. There's sauce all over it already. So I got white rice, pinto beans, sofritas, uh, vegetables, mild sauce, medium sauce, light cheese, light guacamole. Oh, this guy is looking at me. I'm in a busy uh, parking lot. You know that how I get one of these busy parking lots. It's only a matter of time before somebody pulls in next to me. Mm. It's dripping everywhere. Look at that thing. I like sofritas. If some of you think I'm a disgusting eater, go fuck yourselves, okay? You know how hard it is to eat, talk, Film yourself eating. I don't even think about it. I just do it. You don't have to watch me. I do feel bad for those, though that truly just like enjoying hearing me talk, that are disgusted in the way I eat, you're in a real fucking pickle. What do you do, right? Not my problem. You can't change a Neanderthal, guys. You can't. You can't. You just gotta accept it is messaging me now. I always, sometimes I forget to put my phone on the silent during these. You just gotta let me be me, roam around in the wild, make noises. There might be some things about me you don't like. But I'm, I'm, I'm a huge asset to the tribe. Fucking need me around. Take out a grizzly bear from time to time. Killing other tribesmen. You want a guy like me around. Just overlook the negatives and focus on the fucking positives. I'm impressed with how I haven't actually, I didn't make a mess with this outside of it dripping on my hand.
that usually always happens. Oh man, that was good. And more information. These loser food trays, they come in such, so they, they've been so handy for me. There's nothing after a massive workout. <clears throat> Hard conditioning. Oh, you cocksucker, you don't pull in right here. Damn it. Pulled in, I knew it was a matter of time. I wanna enjoy my meal. Son of a bitch. They probably think I'm talking to myself too. Real psycho over here. Is that the big guy right back doing a loser food review? Oh. Woo. Oh, the lady's a lady. Looks like a Karen. That looks a Karen. Only a Karen with part fixed. Oh, now we got another. We got a Jeffrey coming in on the side. They're fucking blocking me in. Okay, no, they left. I didn't see. They're leaving. Jeffrey's gone. You guys saw it. Jeffrey just fucking left. Excuse me. It always fascinates me how we all, as humans, we come in different shapes and sizes. Karen had a different build, is which what brought that up as she walked into Blaze Pizza. The Blaze Pizza could be part of that reason, but we're no judgment. I'm always fascinated by the builds. She was in decent shape. She just got done working out. It looked like across from the gym here. But we all we all just have different shapes and sizes. All right, let's dive into the second one, shall we? Ah, this. How did they get all the sauce on the outside on the tortilla? I tell you why, they didn't have a clean wrapping area, even though it was supposed to be on the tinfoil. Bitch. Damn tinfoil, I can't eat that. I'll save that later for my head for when the aliens come. me from the aliens. Is that what they fucking say? Can't wait for somebody to pull up next to me now. Or no one's going to want to fucking park next to me. Ah, shit. Okay. Do I have anything on me? I hope not. We have a large 300 pound Neanderthal with a tinfoil hat eating in his truck doing a loser food review. Mm. Karen's out with her pizza. I've never had a blaze pizza. I need to try that for the, for the channel. Maybe I'll do that on this weekend's cheat. Oh, I think I need to do that shack pizza too. The shackaroni deal, whatever. I've met Shaq two or three times. As a very large individual. Never forget, I met him at WrestleMania 32 also. My last WrestleMania in Dallas. I was having a lot of issues with the company. I, and I already pretty much knew I was on my way out. 
I was, I was leaving. I just didn't know when yet. And, uh, man, what's Karen? Where's she going? They, uh, <clears throat> I'll never forget, I was walking to Gorilla was, uh, for the match. And Vince left Gorilla, so he wasn't going to watch the, uh, whatever the fuck they call it, the, the shit pre-show matches. And he said hello to somebody, and uh, he was already, I already had some, there were some, like, I just pretty much, like, it wasn't signing over the shit to them, the trademarks, and they knew it. But he's such a fucking child, such a child. He, uh, we were walking, someone said hello, and he was there, and we made walking right by each other, I go, hey Vince, and he like did this disgusting little kid mean face, I, I, I swear to God, and I just remember thinking, what a little fucking bitch, I, I'm not kidding guys, like I can't even, the guy's successful as all shit as far as wrestling goes, because of pro wrestlers, that's the only reason he's failed in everything else he's done, everything else he's done, the only reason wrestling has been successful for him is because of the wrestlers, I swear to God, but uh, I'll never forget that. I can't wait to kick his ass ever we can see him fucking six feet under. I can't. Fucking the world will be a much better place when it's all said and done. And I promise you that. Horrible human being. Killed wrestlers younger. Everything that I went through with this shit. It's so goddamn fucking personal. So fucking personal. I don't care what the marks think, anything. It's so fucking personal. Like, I want to see that fucking place burn to the ground. So fucking personal. And I've been blessed to get my health back. Fucking game on. Game on, motherfuckers. Enjoy the ride. Because the, bene the people that benefit are the fans. Shit's about to get a lot more real than it's ever been. The things that are going to come out of my mouth. Straight from the motherfucking hip. So fucking personal. Pussy Paul. So fucking personal. So personal. So personal. Bucktooth fucking Kevin Dunn. So personal. So goddamn personal. Waited anxiously four and a half years, four years just patiently building and building and building until I got my health back. When you want something, you never stop. Be patient. Go one day at a time. Things aren't aren't easy. There's good days and there's bad days. And you push through regardless. Oftentimes you'll have a horrible day. Just get to bed. Get to bed. Get up the next day early. You'll be amazed. At it. It's a fresh start. If something happens when you go to sleep. You have a bad day. You really, they, I've had I've had horrible days, business stuff with just shit, and a good night's rest, and wake up, and, it, and it's just, and it, it's a million times better. There'll be bad days stringed together sometimes. You keep fighting, you keep going. Things will look bleak. No matter what that applies to in your life, you just keep going. You don't stop. You don't have to. It's a mindset thing. Just keep going. Keep finding a way. Find a thing. Just focus on what you can to be happy. what you want, know what you want to do, and just work towards it, simplify things, don't complicate, don't compare yourself to other people, know what you want to do, and execute it, day in and day out, it's impossible to do everything, so just pick something, pick whatever you like the best, and fucking just do that.
I gotta say, this is absolutely delicious. I do not regret coming here at all. <sighs> Done. Now I gotta... I'm looking, I'm 20 pounds bigger. You can do a little, God. Oh, get right back, smash. I'm gonna fuck somebody up. We're gonna fucking somebody fuck with me. Come on. You wanna fuck with me? I'll shock you in the fucking, fucking concrete, bitch. Getting too much energy inside my body, guys, when the, the energy starts flowing, I need, that's where wrestling really helps me, like, get that energy out. I have so much energy in my body. All right, let's review the damn burrito. All right, that was the, the Chipotle Sofritas, Sofritas uh, burritos, which were tofu. I know somebody's gonna leave in the comments, oh, the estrogen, my guy, be careful with all that extra estrogen. Do I look like I'm fucking worried, pal? You worry, I don't. A little tofu, I love I love miso soup too. Also, I'll eat that fucking tofu with those miso soup at a sushi place or a vegan sushi place. Just pour the tofu in my mouth. Fucking drink it right out of the bowl of the miso soup. Um, I'm giving this the sofritas. I will say, if I'm comparing it to meat and I'm going to Chipotle and on a, on a non-vegetarian day, the steak burrito is still my favorite. This sofritas, though, this was absolutely delicious. I'm giving it 4.9 stars. This is, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a, um, you can do a vegan option or I got light cheese on it, so a vegetarian uh, on that. So, there we have it, guys. Somebody was upset. The videos got put in different order. Because I have them, I want them out in a certain order. Last week, and the, the thumb scale was in a video. And so I was like, I thought he did away with the thumb scale. It's on the next video. I was like, no, we did do away with it. It just happened to be that video was done before the thumb scale was eliminated. Stupid. So, there you have it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, got a new cash giveaway going on this week. I believe $1,500. This is a couple days before I'm uh, actually announcing it, but it will be in the comments in the video. I have a feeling it's gonna be our biggest cash giveaway yet. I just gave out $1,250 this week, and uh, that video is here on Feed Me More TV. And uh, everything during Corona, so thank you guys very much. If you could please subscribe to my podcast, The Ryback Show on all podcast platforms. I have Santino Morell on, Rusev, this upcoming week and it drops every Thursday and then I got Eric Rowan uh, the following week and uh, we're climbing the charts quite quickly again and I would really like to get back into a top spot with that show I put a lot of time and effort into it and uh, it would mean a lot if you guys um, I don't care if you even you give a shit about me or my podcast but if you can go subscribe and when you get the notification when it comes out every week just put it on for a few minutes I don't even care if you actually listen to it I think you should. I think it's beneficial. But you don't have to. You can just help me out like that. Shit. Fist bump. Psycho Sid style. All right. Have a great one, guys. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first-time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.